Welcome to Cappuccino with Amber. I'm substituting Amber today and my name is Lena. And my co-host... Stefano. And... The Guru. So have you guys taken an Uber lately? Isn't that the number one way of transport nowadays anyway? I guess so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I live off Uber, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, share one of your experiences. I, I was down in Washington last week and hey, no taxis, no drivers, just call an Uber from your phone, the simplest way ever. Oh really? Did you know that not only are they offering car service now, they're offering yacht service? Really? No yeah. This started in Dubai. In Dubai, they partnered up with a yacht company and they're offering rides for $82 a person. And they're also complimentary. They're serving drinks and food along with $82. Sign me up, right? Yeah. Not only that though, they're actually investing in helicopter rides. They're looking into that. We don't know how much that's going to cost yet or how that's going to go, but hey, new things. So not only do Uber offer helicopter rides now, but they have a new service. It's called Uber Passport. And if you live in the San Diego area, you can take a car all the way to Tijuana. It's $100 and there's also a $20 fee. Oh really? You know, for $20 instead, I think I could buy the new Microsoft Oculus virtual reality game that my brother has been talking about. Do you guys know anything about that? I do. So Microsoft <laughs> actually released their new virtual reality version of this game called Minecraft. And it's $6.99 and it works with the Gear headset, which works with certain Samsung phones. And what it does, it's really interesting because Minecraft, it's a game where you live in a virtual reality universe and you can build and you can create new landscapes and environments. And it's interesting because what the Gear headset version will be able to do, it has 3D audio perception. And that basically allows you to trans, almost like, almost transmit yourself into the game because it's a first person perspective. I see, well, I, I know three of my brothers, they all play Minecraft, so that's mm. going to be amazing for them. I mean, do you play Minecraft? Does it look like I play Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of new technology, did you know Stanford University invented this new robo-mermaid called Ocean One, which can go to the depths of the ocean and find out such cool things that we human cannot do? Wow, that's really interesting. I actually read a little bit about it. And the way that it works, it has, it almost mimics the way that, you know, a mermaid would look. So it has the two arms and then it has the tail. And it's interesting because what it uses, it has haptic feedback. So whenever the mermaid would go into the ocean and let's say it finds something like, for example, a vase, which they actually use to investigate off the coast of France, it has haptic feedback so that it won't crush the vase as it's bringing it back up. And I think that's really interesting. It's oh, wow. interesting. It also has an artificial brain. Mm. That is so cool. Yeah, don't you control it with like joysticks or something, like games? Yeah, it's kind of like a game in itself. Yeah. <laughs> So recently, Samsung actually reported that their company overall had a 12% growth increase in their profits. Isn't that more than Apple? It is actually. Apple actually dropped ever since um, in 13 years. This is the first year that they've actually dropped in sales. Wow. They had in previous years, they had around um, 60 million sales for their phones, but now it's down to 51 million. Wow. And with Samsung, actually, they had their sales for their smartphones go up by 42%, and they're actually expecting for that to increase in the second quarter for their smartphones. Well, I mean, even though Apple's dropped, the analysts did say that they predicted something lower than what Apple has been doing. They did, that was true, actually. And hey, as an Apple user, using iCloud, App Store, the Apple Music, and Apple Pay, they've earned $6 billion, which is 20% increase from last year. That is true. So, yeah. so I guess they're dropping in phone sales, but increasing in other subscriptions. So yeah. I guess it kind of evens out. Did you know having friends is better than having morphine? <laughs> Just having <laughs> friends and creating that endorphins inside of you can react the same as way as an aspirin could. So Stefano, you can be my aspirin. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, you know, some people say that whenever you go into depression, the reason why you do get deprived of yourself from friends and working out and stuff like that is because you don't want that endorphin release. And having more friends will also increase your pain durability. So, hey, make friends. So, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, 
You know, one of the things that he's known for is claiming that he is going to build a gigantic wall across the border of Mexico and you know, the US. Mm -hmm. But Pablo Lopez, a photographer, he's 37 years old, he took an aerial photo of the terrain and it's just absolutely barren and it seems to be almost impossible to build a wall along that terrain. I mean, that is true because the border itself is 2,000 miles long and then that border actually sees around 350 million legal crossings a year. Wow. We're seeing a lot of money going into this. Yeah, I believe that Spectators are saying that it's going to cost $8 billion to build the wall, but some also say that it might cost $25 billion. So it's a really expensive feat to be able to do that big, huge wall building. So Microsoft is actually partnering up with researchers from the University of Washington to see whether they can actually store data in DNA. Oh, Microsoft wow. is being pretty innovative nowadays, huh? Mm -hmm. They are actually. They're planning on buying around 10 million strands of DNA to start doing their research. And I guess for me it's just, I've always wondered like how do they do that, you know, being able to put I guess physical data into, I guess, you know, synthetic strands. Synthetic strands. Something so stunning mm. about our DNA is that it lasts for such a long time. So what they're going to do is they're going to take the ones and O's from our binary code and put it into the ACTG of our mm. DNA, making it go from digital to biological. So cool. I know, it's, it's just really amazing. Yeah. yeah, a lot of science. So first, Microsoft. Now I'm hearing things about Amazon growing in business. I believe it has something to do with Amazon Prime, right? Have you guys heard of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Amazon Prime, they offer a streaming service like Netflix, but they also offer one day delivery. And they also offer all that for just $10.99 a month. And then also, if you're a student, you have a discount for $8.99. You get one day shipping and also streaming services like Netflix. So look into that if you're interested in that stuff. Oh, did you know Anderson Cooper's contract with CNN is going to end after this year's elections? I actually did. I read about that and they're thinking about for the At Live show uh -huh. that they want Anderson Cooper to replace Michael Strahan. Wow, that's going to be interesting. I also heard that Neil Patrick Harrison was one of the French runner-ups. But for mm. the past three months, he's been off the surface so no one knows about him. So I guess Anderson's going to be getting the job after all. Yeah, I hope so at least. So one of the big things that are going on right now is Drake actually just released his new album called Views. And there have been many comments about his album. One of the comments being that it looks like one of the GTA loading screens is covered. That is true. I actually saw that one. And there's another one. It says that one song makes me sad and another song makes me want to flex on my ex. <laughs> <laughs> well, Toy Story is 81 minutes while well, Views is 82, so hey. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess you guys need to listen to the song, listen to the albums, and just tell me what you guys think in the comments. Are you crying? Do you want to go back to your ex? Do you want to think about that girlfriend that you never had? Let us know in the comments. So I guess that's the end of Cappuccino with Amber. I'm your substitute co-host, Lena, and we will see you next week, same time, same place, with my two co-hosts, Stefano and the Guru. Catch you guys later.